The markets are rocky, but the good news is that October is right around the corner, and statistically, October is the best performing month in cryptocurrency. In today's video, I'm going to go over three trending altcoins, and I'm going to analyze whether each one has the juice to stick around through the expected October pumps, or whether each one will fade away before then. But before that, before we get to that, a message from my partner, Meanwhile. You might remember this company from my video I did on them a month ago, but Meanwhile, again, they are Bitcoin life insurance. What that means in a nutshell is that you pay Meanwhile fixed monthly payments in BTC, and in return, in the event of your death, your loved ones get a fixed sum payment, a large payment in BTC. You never have to hand over your private keys, and even if your personal stash of Bitcoin gets lost after your passing, like you never gave your keys to anyone else, which probably happened to most of us, your loved ones still get paid out in that case. So definitely check out this project. Again, the website is meanwhile.bm. Links will be at the bottom. You can also rewatch my video right there. And now let's get into the trending coins of the day. The first one is Nero on Ethereum. This is a project I've covered multiple times on my channel. Nero on ETH is one of the wildest charts I've ever seen. So it's been trading for five weeks now. It quickly shot up to that famous $300 million market cap high. Since then, it has been gradually falling. And just yesterday, it hit a low of $25 million. A lot of people are saying that it was sure looking like a rug. I can't deny it. You know, it might have looked like one yesterday. But look at the turnaround since then. So if you bought on the dip to $25 million, which some people did, you're up a cool X. It's at $53 million million dollar market cap currently. So what is new? What has caused the rebound, the pump? Well, part of it is some new exchange listings. So they got listed on Indodax right there. They also got listed on a medium sized exchange called Weeks right there. And additionally, they have some pretty credible big influencers still covering them even through the dip. Slum Doge Millionaire, he does not cover rugs. He's very credible. They also have Travel Ad Crypto and then they have Money Lord up here. So most of those guys, you know, they to see them sticking through the lows like that and not just ditching, which most influencers do, that is impressive. So in my conclusion, Nero is here to stay. Next coin is one I haven't covered before. It is RAR coin, R-A-W-R, ticker symbol XD. So this one's had, uh, it's been around for several months. It's been through multiple CTO iterations. One, two, three, it refuses to die. The latest one happened about a week ago and the coin quickly was revived from the dead and shot up from 1 million market cap to its current 6.2 million and no signs of slowing down even during a rough market. So what happened right around here? Well, something very specific happened. This guy, the Solstice, started bull posting the token. The Solstice is the dev of Mumu, Jinan, Fofar, and he has ran all those coins up to a $40, $50 million plus market cap. So once people saw that he was bull posting a new low market cap coin, they bought in droves. Now, what does he like about this coin? Well, he likes that the dev of RAR is another character called Fascist. This girl right here, that's what she looks like. She is a goth chick. Some people say she's 14 years old. I don't believe that. I think she's like 18 or 19. You just have to visit her page, see some of the stuff. She says she is a character. Her Twitter page has skyrocketed the followings in the last week and the coin, people are buying her coin as well. So do I think that this one will stick around? I think yes, as long as Solstice keeps bull posting it, yes, it will. The third and final coin, I'm not quite as bullish on, but it's still too tough, too early to tell. The project is Bull on Tron. Covered it a few times before. Obviously, this project is known because Crash's Clay is the dev. Crash is also the dev of Bretcoin, which he single-handedly ran up to a 1.8 billion market cap. So when he watched the new coin, the first one since then, Bull, Obviously, people bought it in droves, shot it up to a 300 million market cap, but it's been kind of a slow decline since then. Right now, it's at a $92 million market cap. So can it turn around? I don't know. Maybe it can. Part of the problem is that people are experiencing some crash fatigue. Anytime crash is behind a project, the conversation is about, is crash a good person? Is crash a bad person? People just love talking about him, not about the project. People want to hear about a project. They want to know he's the dead, but they want the focus to be on the coin that hasn't quite been the case with Bull. But obviously, when it comes to Crash's Clay, you can't count anything out. Can it turn around? It absolutely could. I think part of it is just, will Tron stick around? Well, the Solana conference is in three weeks, September 20th and 21st. That's our annual conference. So I do expect some momentum to shift back over to Solana from Tron. But you know, can all meme coins benefit from that conference? They could very well be. And that is it, guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which coin you think is the best one. We'll be back later with a new video. Ben Kripa signing out. Catch you later.